Yeah, we drink and play games. This is Barcadium. I want to be fisted too. <laughs> I, I just said welcome back to Barcadium oh, in Morse code. Wow. wow, check out the skins. Our odds on all of them. Who's got a ghost? You know, I look at our ad now and I'm like, oh, it's because, it, because, oh. Oh, because they, they, they don't have this to fun. Yes, to so, so they blurred that out. I was going to say, yeah. I was like, okay. Looking up, I can see our handiwork with my own two eyes. No more hot dogs, no more Deco's Palace, just funplex propaganda. That is what it is. And taking our moment of glory, I begin listening to the people surrounding us. I want to be fisted too! <laughs> <laughs> oh hey, that's a new thing on the Jumbo Drive! <laughs> This is fun. Sounds exciting. Sounds so interesting. That's a lot of tournaments too. We should check it out. How is it that I've lived within spitting distance of a real arcade with fisting and never noticed? I'm so there. I'm sorry, but like, there, there are businesses near where I live. I'm very rarely like, I didn't know that existed. Yeah. Even me, it's just like, I'm like, no, yeah, no, I know this is here. I know yeah. this is here. I may never I may choose it. not to go, but yeah. I know it. But I know it's, it's there. Yeah. Did you hear that, Ashley? They want to be fisted. <laughs> Sounds like my Calbat. <laughs> yes, yes, we did. You and Iris make a great team. Fuck that. Why don't you work for Elite Cyber Hackers? No. Ashley, how are you so tech savvy? Let's go basic. Let's go basic. Let's compliment her. Without being dumb. <laughs> Fine. <laughs> I am completely amazed at how basic I am and how I had skills back there. She was keeping up with the pace with Iris and was about to communicate with her own- I mean, we couldn't ship her and Iris together. That couldn't happen. We couldn't let that happen. About to communicate with her on a level I, I'll never know. How did you know what to help Iris with? Too bad. You're already shipping them. Good job. Vicky! That's why I was like, cyber, 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 cyber. I read a lot of books. I watched a ton of tutorials on various electronics. Also saying cyber, cyber, cyber all over again reminds me of 2000s. Don't ever cyber kids. Oh, Jesus. Our, oh, uh, also, there's a lot of high tech stuff you wouldn't expect that goes into some cosplay. She had, never mind. She went through a phase, yes, go ahead. I went through a phase in high school where I was really obsessed with cutting out electronics and technology in my pots. Yes, acknowledge your phase. My group of friends and I got together during lunches and we just sat around in a home room and talk talk. Oh, go bounce for that. Mm -hmm. In fact, that's why we call it talk talk. I call it a TED talk. <laughs> You don't know the drama around that. <laughs> Neither do I. No, I don't at all. Anyway. It's another romance book world drama that I occasionally tell you about. Yeah, oh. you've missed some because I don't tell you about all of them. Wait, what? Yeah. Okay, so, uh, it, well, it's it's romance adjacent. So in the last couple of weeks, there was uh, an author who apparently did a TEDx talk. So offshoot. Oh. Offshoot talk. It's, it's the porno talk. And she said that a new Hulu original show ripped off her TEDx talk. Huh. Now, here's the problem. Uh, she is a fat author, and it's a, a Hulu original about being fat. So what was supposedly ripped off was women having pool parties, and they're all fat. To do. I've heard about that for years. Yeah. That's not a ripoff. That's people who have similar experiences. Yes. Um, but it became like this huge blow up while also mentioning that it was a TEDx talk. <laughs> Your local literary new, uh, news nerd, yep. Ash, there on the case. There you go. You're on the, 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 case. the pulse. The, of... <laughs> <laughs> I think I was the only one who took it seriously. Duh. I even dressed up in cyberpunk fashion. I was completely obsessed. It became a passion for a good while. 
Eventually, however, everyone got out of it. Except Ma. And then... <laughs> then they all started mocking me for uh, making fun of my punk outfits. And the fuck I spent all my time researching things like... I do be a raspberry pockets. <laughs> I refuse to believe that you read that sentence. I just refuse <laughs> that you didn't. You you didn't at all. Aww. It was awful. I cried. Look at those blobs on my eyes. Like I'm on a spaceship. Someone good friends. I'm like trust I completely turn on that. But you're questioning myself who I was and how really I wanted to be. It's so hard to feel this emotional moment with that voice. <laughs> yeah, no, it really and like you're just you're sucking all of it out. <laughs> Did I want to be this badass cyberpunk technophile? Or did I want to follow my friends on the next big infatuation? I regret it to this day, but I gave up on my dreams and followed my friends instead. At that time, they were what I had to believe on. <laughs> it's really sad though. Ignore the voice, it's really sad. All right, Naruto. <laughs> believe on. Wait. Yes, yes. That's, okay. that's what he said. I, I get it confused because Roman Reigns has a bastardized version of Believe it. Believe that. Yeah. Only like now am I getting... He's also Naruto. That's why nobody likes him. Yeah. And Naruto's a little bitch. <laughs> I actually like the show Naruto. I make fun of the character, though, because it's fun. Only like now am I getting back in its hat due to the always changing culture of cosplay. People use LEDs and robotics to make their weapons more badass. I would have animated wings. I knew it was coming and I paused because I knew that's how I said it. Wangs. No, I heard it. No, you didn't need to repeat it. I heard it. That's why I'm looking at you. You sure right you don't now. want it again? No. Wangs. Th thank you. All right. Now I guess you're just going to kill my joke. I always figured cosplay was, you know, sewing and arts and crafts. And as about us cross discipline. Lucky, you haven't seen some of the more intensely complicated costumes I'm mad. She's just like winking this entire time. It's a very long wink. Which reminds me of a certain someone going on about how arcade games involve electrical engineering, programming, graphic design, and even carpentry. Oh. Why don't you talk shop more with Naomi then? Not the kind of girl she's into. Yep. Huh? Well, she's a techie. You're a techie. Seems like there should be plenty of overlap. But I've never seen you two talking electronics. I figure there wasn't really any overlap. The kind of tech that enhances cosplay was invented after a 1990 bleh, not Hearthstone. Hmm. I would a lot more friends to bounce some tech ideas off of. Who knows? Maybe we can both teach each other something new. Amazing! Oh, never mind. You know, I'm proud of myself. I took all that old knowledge and made it come through for us today. I think what we accomplished. You should be proud. You worked hard. As for me, I barely helped. My palms are sweaty, knees weak, mom's spaghetti. Yes. Yes. I'm I'm glad I'm glad you, you, you did it. Ah! Oh, you can relax now. It's all over. He's on God. But you know, now that we removed all those hot dog ads, I sort of really want one on my face. Yeah. Okay. Then. <laughs> Insert gif of Lindsay Ellis getting hot dogs in the face. You seen that, right? You seen that gif? You you heard her for for do it. <laughs> you have to now. She she's responsible for this. Really? Yes, really. Yes. Yeah, really? I'm starving. Honestly, just about anything sounds delicious. How about we get some nacho cheese from some nachos in our bellies instead of hot dogs? Mm -hmm. I don't like even that? really <laughs> like nacho cheese, but occasionally you want the nachos with nacho cheese, you know? I want it with queso. No, I do too normally. Yes. So I want good nachos with good toppings and queso. But if you're gonna give me shitty, shitty nachos, Give me shitty nacho cheese. If you're gonna give me shitty nachos, you can keep it there. <laughs> <laughs> I know I don't want it. <laughs> My tummy might regret it later tonight, but right now I can eat a whole bucket of ridiculous overpriced con dogs. <laughs> My mouth started to worry just thinking about <laughs> ingesting food. I. That was totally the wrong voice I was about to come yeah. out. I was with like Pride and Prejudice, like Pride and Prejudice, like You're British really stuck accent. on that today. 
I know, and I didn't even watch it recently. Mm. I couldn't agree more. And if we suffer the effects of eating convention food, at least we suffer together. Sad, that's a sparrow. I think there's actually a food court just over yonder. Astrid and I walk over. Uh, Astrid and I had to walk oh, about 500 feet to find the nearest vendor actually selling the infamous Franks. Wouldn't it be so cute if we got a picture of them doing the Lady in the Tramp pasta thing, but with a hot dog? I don't know if cute is what I would use there. Uh, we are both so hungry that we each order three. Holy shit! How big are these hot dogs that they order in there? They must not be foot long. Now I need you to reimagine that Lady in the Tramp sequence and think about that. Well, they can't do six Next hot dogs. Next time on Barcadia, I'm not. three hot dogs going in, but six would be too many. This, this is, they're scarfing down some wieners. After dressing them up with all the fixings, <laughs> we bring our pack of dogs to the nearest table and settle in for a feast. See, you set yourself up for that. But as I'm about to take my first bite, I can't help but notice that Ashley hasn't stopped giggling since we sat down. Did we shit ourselves? <laughs> that's that's not what she said, but keep going. Ashley, you okay <laughs> over there? Ha 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 Yeah. No, maybe I, I just can't say it, can I? What is it? It's too gob. No, I, I can't. What? What? Just, just say it. <laughs> it's a real sausage bust on hair. <laughs> As she throws her head back and cackles wildly. That's exactly what I wanted. I immediately <laughs> roll my eyes and groan. That bar, huh? Yes. Extremely. You know, I get along pretty well with Ashley, all told. And I chose to hang out with her all day, didn't I? I mean, so literally. So we gotta have our sausage fest. Literally did, yes. Maybe it's time to, you know, make a move. Preferably <gasps> before the greasy hot dogs start rapidly God. migrating through me. Yes. I might be crushing on you, Ashley. Do you, do you not want to crush on her? I do, but I'm just gonna let you do this because you're on a whole nother level right now. You, you can have it because you 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 really want to do this. Uh, Ashley, I've really enjoyed spending all this time with you lately. Calm down. <laughs> we have such a fun time together. Whenever we get up to hijinks like these, and I want hijinks in your pants. Your puns suck, but I... Well, that fits, doesn't it? Yes. It's in character. Oh. Oh, my. Oh! Sorry, not into you. Jeez. Oh, she I... liked it. I have a great time with you, too. And, well, I'd like to spend more time doing just that. Exactly like what we're doing now, outside the arcade. Just you and me. Oh. Oh! Yes, please! Very much. I would like that. Oh! <laughs> Embarrassed at trying to hide her emotions, Ashley scarfs down another hot dog. Look at that blush. That's that's a bad image. Oh, it's happening. That's also a bad image. <laughs> we spend the rest of the meal both laughing together and at each other's jokes and enjoying the other one's company. As we both get up un from under the table, Ashley puts her hand on my She's shoulder. Touching us. I like how we went over touching like on Sunday about like the shoulder and, and you're just like, oh my God, it's on my shoulder. And I'm like, it's the least sexy thing ever. It's a start. <laughs> Thanks for spotting the entire Delph, my. I miss a lot of my. Of course, I had a blast, even if it got a bit intense. I couldn't have spread the word about Fist of Fun without you. Oh, it's nothing, really. See us soon. We had a nice little sausage fest. <laughs> Ashley turns and simply skips away, leaving me to watch her disappear into another crowd. Oh, they're so cute. Gross. <laughs> You're actually making this gross. <laughs> all in all, a successful day. Yeah.
Beep, beep, Wecky, you have a new text message. I don't care about what Juniper has to say. Is it from... Oh. <laughs> it was a tough sell without you there, but fortunately Michelle and I go way back. Yeah. Magical Moon Cuties will debut at this of I think, I think you mean you. <laughs> <laughs> this is just a series of me terrorizing you with bad puns yeah, and just... shit. Well, <laughs> glad he was able to pull this off without me. You should see the size of Theo's oh. social web. Okay, good. You got worried too. Yeah. <laughs> I, I tried mapping it, and wow, it just keeps going and going. Not making it better, Iris. No. Yours, in contrast, is a petite... Adorably so. Whatever it's, Ashley likes it, shut up! Still sounds like a penis joke, Iris. We're just continuing on. Yeah, I was just, that's why I said, whatever Iris, Ashley likes it. Yes. Thank you. <laughs> right, time to head home. I promise I'm going to be Juniper just outside the main exit of the hall, and that's oh, yeah. exactly where I was heading. Juniper exists. The rush of fresh air hit me as I pushed the double glass doors open. It was nice. Like a 69, refreshing, like a 69, <laughs> and a much better smell than the one I had been around all day. Uh-huh. Nothing like that whatsoever. <laughs> hey! I didn't have to wait long until I saw Juniper. She bounced happily up to see, uh, up to me. Shit, what was her voice? This happens every time she comes around. So, how was your first match, Wecky? It was... Fantastic. So man, the amount of support I got from my friends today was amazing. I know I can always count on them, and I feel like we've gotten the closer as friends. You are sounding more and more like Triple H doing a promo. Yes. I like it. That that's that's why it's just like a Triple H promo is like the best thing to me. It's just <laughs> like this this it all sucks, but it's amazing in my head. I can't wait to go back next year. As to be expected with the convention. Although in your case, you really outdid yourself and got smacked with 300% of what anyone else would have, yeah? How do you figure? Well, most people drop by maps, play some games, maybe attend a panel or two, do some shopping. They're here to be catered to. You, on the other hand, were doing the catering. And like any good caterer, that means spinning plates and doing 12 different things at once. You found interesting ways to push this to fun and promote the funplex as a whole. You worked your butt off to do it. So rather than attending Max, you were Max. Sure feels that way. I'm totally drained. Ooh. I kind of envy you, you know? It sounds like you had some great adventures today, other than designing that flyer. I didn't do that much beyond playing a few games and buying cute t-shirts and stuff. But let me tell you, they're really super cute shirts. I'm glad I could support you though, even if it was just, you know, by doodling up a flyer. It's hardly a doodle, you did great work designing it. Trust me, you're better off not being a caterer, it was rough. I'm feeling that second one though. We did mention like, and I don't care about Juniper. <laughs> well then. <laughs> Take it from someone making the food. There's a lot of craziness going on there. You're better off just sitting back and enjoying the chow like you did today. No positive reinforcement for you. That sucks. Yeah, I guess. I'm typically so run down after a week at the office that I need to keep it low key or I'll burn out. <sighs> okay, let's go home and get some real rest. We both earned it. In fact, I'd say we took it. To the max. I'm Big Spoon. <laughs> Juniper, don't do the max! Uh, it feels the same. He! Thank you, Juniper, for that. Only I can be the Are we on our bed? Person. Are we on our bed? After that moment, the rest of the evening was a blur. We're gonna be on the bed. I knew that Juniper and I took the train back home, heated up some pizza bagels, I safely made it into my comfy bed. Where are the bed? Hey! hey! I think I was still in shock. At the beginning of this day, I thought that no one was going to know about Fist of Fun. We'd be stuck as a, uh, stuck as a relatively unknown mom and pop arcade. 
But now it seems like the whole world knows, which is great. But also pretty nerve-wracking. I sighed heavily, letting all my mixed emotions flow over me. There is no turning back now. What I set in motion will stay in motion. It can only get bigger and better from here. We are NXT! I'm oh, sorry. <laughs> M-A-X! At least that's what I'm going to keep telling myself as I drift to sleep. <laughs> I'm proud of what I accomplished today, and I can't wait to tell everyone at the Funplex about all I've done. I hope they are proud of me too. And before I know it, <sighs> this of fun will be upon us. Oh, I thought it was going to be sleep. That feels like an end to a chapter, doesn't it? Yay! I was gonna be like, wait for it, it's gonna happen. You've cleared level three of, oh sorry, that's your line. You've cleared level three of Arcade Spirits. A winner is you. Now let's see your score. Is anybody stop clapping like this is Super Smash Bros. Is that the end of the screen You ate hot dogs. <laughs> Wow, we we used to be maxed out for Ashley and Queen Bee, but now we are so on Ashley that it's just we're we're green hearts and Ashley all the way. Get buried, Gavin. Uh, uh, no, get buried. Teo, Teo, Teo yeah. is Teo is definitely buried. Yeah. Yes. Mm. Looks like you and Ashley are having some good times. You're proving to be a gentle, sweet, and compassionate soul. We gotta work on that. <laughs> Also, you've scored 11,750 points. Go for the high score. Actually, I don't know what the high score is, but hey, go for it anyway. Do you want to save your game before proceeding to level four? Yeah. I'm only saving it because this is the end of the episode. Because there was already a, a scare that we had to go to today. Also the end of the episode. That's that's why I'm saving it. And I guess, look, we get to player find out what the next player. chapter is. Player versus player. I'm going to whoop your ass next time on Barcadium.